All right. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, navigation diagrams and their structure. So for very large web pages, it's very common to have what is called a tiered structure. Um, typically, what happens in these examples is that we'll have a uh, structure so that we have a main home page and the home page is going to link to sort of major subcategories. Um, for instance, wait, suppose we have a library page and uh, the library has two main structure, two main substructures, let's say fiction and nonfiction to start with. And then pages that are underneath that um, will link primarily just to the um, substructure page, for instance. Um, if we have additional subcategories, let's say in fiction, we might have novels and poetry and children's books and so on and so forth. And so we might have various structures underneath the fiction page. And similarly for the nonfiction, we might have different categories, history, science, social, you know, natural science, social science, art, et cetera, et cetera. And so these pages would be tiered underneath the main structure pages. Pages underneath each of these substructures will not generally link out to topics on other tiers. So we generally don't have the nonfiction pages linking out to individual novels or things like that. Um, these pages might link back uh, directly to the home page. For instance, uh, we might have a one-way connection back to the home page because everybody links back to the home page, but we don't necessarily have a lot of interconnectedness. Um, the history doesn't link to, directly to the fiction necessarily, uh, although it might uh, because it's a it's a it's a substructure page, but it's not going to link to all the individual sub pages within each of the categories. The the link concentrations are mostly directed either at the home page or to other pages within the the tiers within the little self contained sections. So science pages might link to other science pages, but even within the tiers, you might have more additional sub tiers. Science might not link directly to history. They're certainly not necessarily going to link directly to, let's say, the fiction pages for like every poetry page is not going to link out to every possible science page. So you have these subsections within your website. And when websites get, re get really big, you kind of have to do this because there's just too much going on. The, the linkages would be way too complex to maintain if every page had to link to every other page. However, when you have a small website, the uh, diagram, the, the navigation structure tends to be where every page is going to link to every other page. So we're going to do a complete example of a na global navigation diagram. And the idea here is that the things you're linking to are the pages. So we're not looking at every file. This isn't a file structure page. We don't care about your images files. We don't care about your, your, um, uh, your style sheets or things like that. All we're really looking at is just every page um, that, that customers can navigate to. And for a web page that has, you know, less than a dozen pages, it is not a big deal to have every page linked to every other page. The navigation list is not crazy. And, um, customers may want to visit all of your pages in a nonlinear order. There is not a process by which they must go through the contact us page before they get to the history page, or they must go to the menu page before they get to the events page or things like that. You want them to be able to go directly to where they want to go. And if they're on any page, you want them to, again, be able to go directly to any other page. Maybe they want to go from the menu page to the contact us page because they have a particular question. You don't want them to have to navigate through a maze of links in order to find it. Again, if your uh, if your website is very large, 
then you have a handful of pages that everybody links to, but not generally, not every page linked to every other page. But in global navigation, every page links to every other page. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing a link a diagram like this is that any link that has an arrow should have an arrow and it, it directs you from one page to another page. If, as we saw in the previous example, um, my history page linked only to my home page, that is a one-way link. The home page doesn't have a link directly back to the history page in this example. But when I have a double arrow, then those that's indicating that there is a link from the nonfiction page to the history page and from the history page back to the nonfiction page. So in global navigation, we want every page to connect to every other page. So we want links that connect back to not only from the home page to about us page, but also from the about us page back to the home page. Uh, every page is going to have the same kind of connection. So contact us will go back to the home page and home page will go back to contact us. About us will connect to the menu page and vice versa. And the menu page will connect to the history page and the history page will connect to the contact us page. But it's not, again, it's not enough for a global navigation diagram to have um, a way to get from one page to another. You need to be able to get directly from one page to another. So we also, it's not enough to just have home go to about us and about us go to menu. We need to go from home to menu and then also from home to history and then also from about us to contact us and also from about us to history and then also from the menu to contact us and make sure that everything connects to every other thing. So let's double check here. About us connects to home, contact us, history and menu. Okay, that's everything. And contact us connects to home and about us and menu and history. And history connects to contact us and home and about us and menu. Okay, so we're the thing is complete. Every page connects to every other page. And so this is a complete global navigation diagram. Literally every page connects to every other page. Again, this is different than a tiered structure. In a tiered structure, every page doesn't connect to every other page. They might connect back to the home page or specific pages, or again, like their subcategory headings. They may connect globally within the subcategories, but they don't connect globally on the entire site. And so what we have here is, a, again, a much smaller site where we, the list of links is not prohibitively crazy. Uh, once web pages start getting crazy, getting very, very large, you can't do this anymore. And then you have to start creating these tiered structures um, giving people sensible ways of navigating through a complex website. But when the websites are small, the goal is to be able to get directly to any other place on the site. And every link should be a two-way link. Every page links out, and then that page links back again. You don't want any sites that have only links out um, because if they uh, if there's no way to get there, then they're, they're, you're, no one's ever going to visit them. And you don't want any pages that um, can only be linked to from one page, for instance. Again, typically that means that it's a dead end because it doesn't go anywhere. So this is our example of, it's only five pages, but this is a global navigation diagram. Um, the linkages can get quite complex, but of course, if you have a dozen pages, that'll be much busier looking than this. But still, um, usually up to about that size, you can conceivably link um, in a global way.